Senator Ludlam. Order. Order. Senator Ludlam. Thanks, President. Uh, my question is to the Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Evans. Uh, I refer to reports in the Fairfax Press this morning that Stratfor, a Texas-based private intelligence firm, has known for more than a year of the existence of a sealed indictment from a secret grand jury against Australian citizen and journalist Julian Assange. Did our ally the United States give the Prime Minister the courtesy of a disclosure, and if so, when, or did she read it in the papers along with all of us? Minister, for how long has the Prime Minister known of the existence of this sealed indictment? Order. The member, the uh, Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Evans. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I thank the uh, Senator for his question. Uh, Mr. President, I obviously can't uh, uh, comment on unsubstantiated media reports about sealed documents that have been discovered, uh, because, quite frankly, all of that is, uh, is news, to, news to me uh, this morning as well. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that the Australian Government is not aware of any charges by the US Government against Mr Assange. Uh, our embassy in Washington continues to closely monitor, monitor developments. Uh, Mr Assange remains in the UK awaiting the outcome of his appeal to the UK Supreme Court regarding his possible extradition to Sweden. Uh, we continue to monitor closely Mr Assange's legal situation and have sought and received assurances from Swedish authorities that he will, not, that he will be accorded due process if he is extradited. Uh, while Mr Assange was detained in the UK in 2010, Australian consular officials provide him, provided him with a high level of consular support. This remains available to him, as we have advised his lawyers on a number of occasions. I understand officials were last uh, in contact with Mr Assange's lawyers uh, in late January 2012. Uh, Senator Evans, uh, will you resume your seat, please, as there's Senator Ludlam's on his feet. Senator Ludlam. Thank you, President. I call a port of order on the directness of the relevance of the minister's answer. I'm not, I didn't refer to any of the Swedish prosecution matters or anything that's occurring in the UK. Mm. My question goes directly to whether the Australian government knows of the existence of a sealed indictment. That's well, just a, that's a yes the, or a no. I Thank think you, the President. minister is answering the question from what I've heard. Uh, the minister has got 48 seconds remaining if there are any other matters that the in the Mr. question, Mr. Minister. Mr. President, I was trying to be helpful to the Senator and give him what information I had, but as I said in my first, uh, first uh, part of my answer, the Australian Government is not aware of any charges by the US Government against Mr. Assange. If that's all he wants to know, I'll stop there. <coughs> Senator Ludlam. Thanks, President. My supplementary question to the Minister is whether the Prime Minister proposes to take any action whatsoever relating to the existence of this indictment and the potential for Mr Assange to be transferred not to Sweden or to anywhere else, but to the United States. Is the government intending to do anything at all to prevent this from happening? Uh, and I'm happy for the minister to provide any details at all about any action of any kind that the government proposes to take to prevent this extradition from occurring. Order. Senator Evans. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, uh, as Senator Ludlam is aware, uh, the government has clarified in answers to questions he's put on notice on this issue that the Australian government has asked the U.S. government about uh, about these reports. Uh, the government has not received any advice of any grand jury investigation. Senator Ludlam. Thank you, President. I'll ask my third and final, uh, my my second supplementary, and perhaps ask the minister to take a matter on notice. Now that the dirty little secret is out, will the government stop the delays and obstructions in fulfilling order, order, President, order, order? Senator Ludlam is entitled to be heard in silence on both sides. Thank you, President. Order, was, Senator Ludlam. There was continue. a great deal of shrieking. I'm interested to know whether the government will stop the delays and obstructions in fulfilling my freedom of information requests on this matter that went to the Prime Minister's office last year, and will the minister find out if there is a sealed indictment in the US and report back to the Senate? Will the minister ascertain whether or not such an indictment Time exists? Time has expired for Thank asking you. the question. The minister. Uh, well, Mr. Mr. President, if there are dirty little secrets, they've been kept secret from me, so I can't. Uh, can't help him in that regard. 
What I can tell him is that I understand he has made a FOI request, which was received by DFAT on the 2nd of December last year, that the response has been worked on by DFAT. I gather that's in line with Senator Ludman's agreement on an extension of time. Uh, but that's, uh, that's all I can, uh, I can say in response to his question.